I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North! You stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the god's whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? 
How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. Far as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. <sighs> to the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima.
Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Tetwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, which, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Foltest ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the La Valette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to an assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Virgo. My question is how? I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach. Commander of the Blue Stripes and... A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the Mighty. The Mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well... National interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Well, that alliance has been dissolved. Irrevocably. I killed Letho in Loch Muin. So we heard. It's a good thing you did. Saved our agents some messy and difficult work. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. 
An important matter, but one that does not require the General's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. This might come as news to the gentleman, but the towel wrapped around one's waist is not a fitting me. attire for an audience. Directly out the of northern I have no time. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. 
The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Daifen Aden in Karn eb Marvut, Emir var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. A valiant namen, vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace, whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. And it's Rinhard, past noon. Declared. Calm yourself. Is it in what? what? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevard the second, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait here, I've seen us for some of it. Yeah. Ah, nee. Rad Sleeden, eh, eh, nicht. Es tun, es ist sauer an den Nägeln. Es ist die Epsa. Epsa, nee. Nein, Epsa. 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 Nein, Ep
Es maestre. Niente mia detta. The gentleman will have time for a stroll later. Please stay with me. What are you doing? Es klein. Wenn du hart begräbst, es ist ein, was gern gehabt. Ein Selfie-Dance-Sicker. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. That quill sharpened yet. Yes? Ah! Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild. Church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that... Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only to prepare a clean draft. In triple -day. Vedi me, directly out of Nordling Tales. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I am at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Hmm, huh. so they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Emir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd tricked them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must not. Before the wild hunt does. So where's Siri been seen exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. 
But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Valartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Scars healed nicely. What do you mean? Direct Ambassador Varatra? Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? I mean... Apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained. 
and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoys, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools, particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching? Not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm-hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well. Avoid him. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other, pillage, occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Mm.
How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. We cross the Yara, we will cross the Pontar. Out of the way. Civilization ends in this Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
fucking kids. Civilization ends in this camp's boundary. Out of the way! Till sure if I... Civilization ends at this camp's bottom. Nin to me a data. Yes, Hen as glee. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest.
Come on. Step away. Chaplin's praying. Can't you see? All may fall from the well of the Atomic Fire's Approach, Richard. Who do you think you are? What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? 
I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Return once you burn the bodies. Return once you burn the bodies. Move it! Yes, and? Yeah, yes, and? Sure stinks like a mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. shot of Igni. Get up.
Not so fast, Roach.
now for a shot of Igni. Go, go. Run, Roach. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual. Just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. We still talking about a priest? I'd say so. Beast. Dang pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect, but the fourth, his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of the trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses, must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroying the evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods, it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, Witcher.
Now for a shot of Igni. Come on. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock.
Farewell. Interest you in a pass. Cheapest around. Right here. What kind of pass are we talking about? You don't know. Redanians hold all the fords across the Pontar. Can't get through without a pass. But you're in luck. So happens I've got a few to sell. What? Could dress up like Radovid and buy a gilded carriage for that much. What am I to do if you can't afford it? No deal. Whoa, 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 hold up. Might have a little work for you. Reduce the price for a job well done, eh? What kind of work? Nearby. Just to the southeast. My sister's husband's got a business. He and some lads tidy up battlefields. Problem is, there's always swarms of shite bothering them, you know, them monsters drawn to corpses. Give them some protection, and I'll swing you one beautiful discount. All right, see what I can do. Probably find him hanging from a branch in the woods soon. Don't say no more. I heard no monster will come near you. Punish the stuff all your own. Be as cocky once the baron's man will whip your arse. Witcher? 
Have you completed your task? So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time. Exclusively. Deal. Take this and get out of my sight. He's around here somewhere. There's got to be. Let me out, I beg you. He's around here somewhere. There's got to be.
still got legs. You'll never learn.
In your guts, you eh? <laughs> Don't let up! Come on, come closer. Thank you. 
from his stall by the bridge across the pond tower. Got goods for the army, mostly. Well, they make an exception for you. Hey ya!
No passage. Bridge is closed. Because? Because King Radovid said it should be. Won't let anyone through who don't have a pass. Who issues these passes? Why, you need to know. Your kind don't get passes anyway. Not the right type. <laughs> Officials issue them, but they're also available on the black market. From who? Don't know the names. Ask folk around the crossings. They'll know more. Do just that. Farewell. Nothing left but the prey. Red evil spares us at least. Devil's spawn. <coughs> can you go with me to the shrine? Big I'll enough to try now, lad. You can bring back for the night. I think we did it. Then traded the body for the bills at the castle. Dum 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 dum
Alegría. Nightmares. And if we don't give willingly, then take our arrows and windows to it. One. What's your business? Bloody Baron know you're here? What are you looking at? Stop bothering us poor folk.
forces attacked, one from either side. Cavalry swooped in from the wood. Gathered on them, stood them in a circle, dum, 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 and dum, cut dum, down dum, every last dum, one dum, like dum, the butchers they were. Dum, dum, Hoppies dum, cover the meadow now. If only we men were forever getting tossed at the tavern. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, and something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Greetings. Let me have a look at your stock. Take care.
Come on. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? I'd like you to forge something for me. So long.
Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle it's turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it, don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant, what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's... Some wraith. Or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master. If you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. Devil sits oh. in the old Master. oak tree. Brew and dawdle. cider with devilish tea. Drink it. She's a fever, has fainting spells. She's in a bad way, Master, a bad way. Could you deliver us from evil? Hey, ya! Uh. Ghost. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. 
grass around the well scorched. Grass around the well scorched. journal might be useful. it from here. Thank <laughs> you. 
lucky not to come up empty-handed. A bracelet with an inscription. To Claire, from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well.
pass around the well scorched. Small jaw, a woman, around 30 judging by the teeth, left arms missing. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Let's take another look. Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the Noon Wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Need to prepare for this fight. Brew some Wraith oil, drink some potions. And the bracelet. Igni.
Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. How about that? Never expected to get a dowry. Nor did I suppose I'd ever give one to a Witcher. Strange times these, wouldn't you say? Strange and sad. Run, Roach. Never. Griffin ate it. Uh, now to he's peeved. No more. Stick the bark off the trees again. May the sun shine upon you.
I am Medetta. Estrat as a Morgan. Is it true? Northern women fade for once every three years.
That's it, Roach.
Come on.
Come on.
The Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war-ravaged land. His mission? To gather intelligence about Ciri. 